Hello my friends and welcome back to our lessons and today we have unit 6 lives ups and downs in today's uh, lecture we will discuss the use of past simple and the regular and irregular verbs so the regular and irregular verbs regarding the uh, structure of past simple and describing feelings describing feelings by using the adjectives ending with ed or ing and what's the date telling about the date so in this unit we have to listen to tape scripts and uh, show the use of possible and before listening to tape scripts uh, we have to refer to uh, past simple with the that uh, possible express something express about something happened in the past uh, and when we uh, want to uh, make a structure or to talk about the uh, past we have to uh, make the sentence with the following structure which is uh, subject plus verb either ending with ed and this verb is called regular or verb without ending with ed and this verb will will be called irregular uh, like uh, so told took and the uh, regular verb like helped played visited and so so let's listen to tape script uh, 6.1 and 6.2 to make a comparison between these two conversations and uh, know the difference uh, in using and expressing about the tense so let's listen please to both tape scripts then we will talk about these tenses American TV star. She lives in California, but she also has an apartment in Chicago where she works. Oprah is one of the richest women in America. She earns millions of dollars every year. She gives a lot of money to charity. Also the other tape script. Tape script 6.2. B. Her childhood. Oprah was born on January 29, 1954, in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. Her parents were very poor. Her father, Vernon, worked in a coal mine, and her mother, Vernita, cleaned houses. They couldn't look after Oprah, so she lived with her grandmother, Hattie Mae. Oprah was clever. She could read before she was three. When she was 17, she received a scholarship to Tennessee State University, where she studied drama. She also started reading the news at the local radio station. So, when we make a comparison between these two conversations and uh, the description of the women and her childhood, uh, in this description, which is a, the women about opera. If you note that uh, all the verbs used, which are used in, uh, which were used, sorry, in this uh, description, in the present simple, by using is and has and so on. But when we move to uh, B description about her childhood, uh, all the verbs are used, which uh, were used in this description and this conversation in the past was born where and worked and so on so you can uh, write the verbs uh, in uh, these two uh, tape scripts uh, sorry the uh, verbs in uh, these two, ta uh, two tape scripts and you can have the uh, difference between these two uh, descriptions about uh, the women which is uh, t 
TV star, the billionaire, and about her childhood. So uh, these questions in both these uh, two uh, exercises, read and listen to text as we uh, listen to. Is Oprah Winfrey rich? Where does she live and work? How much does she earn? So all these verbs, the auxiliary verb does, and is. So all these verbs and all these questions about the present simple, as we explained in the uh, previous units. And in exercise number three, where and when was she born was where her parents rich where was she clever what could she do so all these verbs and auxiliary verbs are used uh, to express uh, about uh, the past so you have to uh, be careful when you make a structure of a sentence uh, in the present and in the past إخواني الأعزاء بالنسبة للتعبير عن الماضي البسيط أو المضارع البسيط المضارع البسيط مثل ما أخذنا بالوحدات السابقة والتراكيب مالته أما بالنسبة للتراكيب الخاصة بالماضي البسيط مثل ما جاي تشوفون استخدام الأفعال المساعدة في زمن الماضي البسيط where was وكذلك راح نجي نتقدم إن شاء الله بهذه الوحدة راح نشوف الاستخدامات الأخرى بالنسبة للفعل المساعد بالمناسبة زمن الماضي البسيط لا يحتوي على فعل مساعد لذا عند إجراء عمليتين النفي أو الاستفهام نقوم باشتقاق الفعل المساعد did عند النفي والاستفهام We have here grammar spot complete the sentences about opera with the verb live Now she in California Now she lives When she was a child so he asked and he want to talk about uh, uh, this person when she was a child so in the past she lived with her grandmother and re read the uh, text B also we read this uh, text by sorry in uh, this page and 47 we have the her success so we have to listen to her success and uh, listen to this tape script 6.3 so let's listen please tape script 6.3 Interviewed, studied, so talked, not this, uh, moved, tape secret, started, sorry, sorry, earned, opened. In this paragraph or in this description about her success, we have to fill these blanks uh, with verbs. According to uh, the meaning, so you have to fill these blanks with verbs in the uh, past, and we have to uh, look for a tape script before we check tape script six point three. No, so we have to fill these blanks by. Uh, by depending on the uh, past simple, uh, her success, describing her success, and uh, also we have to uh, put the correct verb according to the meaning, uh, and uh, we uh, this these verbs can help us: watch, interview, study, talk, move, start, earn, open. So all these verbs may help us in this uh, in this uh, conversation and paragraph. So let's move to tape script 5.4. Sorry, in this tape script, as you can notice here, listen to text C 
complete it with the past simple form of the verbs in exercise number four as we said here uh, you have to fill these blanks in C text C with the verbs from this box as I said to you so you have to uh, put these verbs in past simple and fill the blanks in text C uh, so let's listen to tape secret 6.4 to show us what we have to do tape script 6.4 C her success in 1984 Oprah moved to Chicago to work on a TV talk show called AM Chicago she talked to lots of interesting people about their problems Oprah says people's problems are my problems the show was very successful, so in 1985 it was renamed The Oprah Winfrey Show. 49 million people in 134 countries watched it every week. In 1993, she interviewed Michael Jackson and 100 million people watched the program. Last year, she earned $260 million. Her charity work. In 1998, Oprah started the charity Oprah's Angel Network to help poor children all over the world. In 2007, she opened a special school in Johannesburg, the Oprah Winfrey Academy for Girls. She says, when I was a kid, we were poor and we didn't have much money. So what did I do? I studied hard. There are 152 girls at the school. Oprah calls them her daughters the children she didn't have in real life so as you hear this conversation you have to fill these blanks uh, with verbs uh, from the box here with the correct form of past simple uh, in the grammar spot find the question with did and negative with didn't and taxi as you know in taxi we have to use the dent uh, if it's required to make uh, to show the negative and uh, and number two look at these questions where does opera work where did her father work so the question in both these two sentences one of this these questions in the present by using does and one of these questions in the past by using did so the auxiliary verb in past simple we have to derive the verb did in order to show the uh, question or interrogative also with negative by didn't and uh, we use didn't also in negative as we uh, mentioned uh, to form the negative we didn't we used did in the past and putting uh, the note sign uh, to the verb in order to make uh, the negative sentence. In exercise number six, complete the questions about opera. So you have to uh, complete these questions by putting the correct auxiliary verb uh, according to the text, and you have to be careful when you choose the uh, auxiliary verb did, was, and well in tape script 6.5 listen and check practice the questions and answers with a partner so we have we're working in pairs so let's listen then we discuss about this activity tape script 6.5 one where did her father work in a coal mine. Two. What did her mother do? She cleaned houses. Three. Who did Oprah live with? Her grandmother. Four. What did she study? Drama. Five. When did she interview Michael Jackson? In 1993. 
How much did she earn last year? Two hundred and sixty million dollars. Seven. When did she open the girls' school? In two thousand and seven. Eight. Did her parents earn much money? No, they didn't. So you have to practice uh, on how to make questions by putting the correct uh, auxiliary verb in the past simple. Uh, we will practice here talking about you complete the questions with did, was or were. Uh, so you have to so you have to complete these questions with the correct uh, auxiliary verb and as you can notice here all auxiliary verbs in the past simple did was and were and by the way when we when do we use did and when do we use was or were so by looking to these questions you will have the difference in use uh, the correct auxiliary verb according to the pattern of the sentences so we used here where were your your parents born where you live when you so where did you live when you were a child so all these questions after filling the blanks you will have the difference between and uh, these between these auxiliary verbs and how to use these auxiliary verbs. اخواني الاعزاء بالنسبه للاستخدام الافعال المساعده طبعا اذا تلاحظوا هنا الديد والوز والوير كل هاي الافعال المساعده في زمن الماضي البسيط طبعا بالمناسبه هاي تتعلق بالازمنه الوز او الوير اذا الجمله احتوت على فعل رئيسي فراح يتم استخدام ديد اما اذا لم تحتوي الجملة على فعل رئيسي وكان الاختيار يجب ان يكون فعل مساعد فراح يكون الفعل المساعد هو was او where ليكون بمثابة فعل رئيسي وفعل مساعد في نفس الوقت فيلعب دور الفعل الرئيسي اللي هو was او where طبعا بالحقيقة was او where هي افعال مساعدة لكن في حال عدم وجود فعل رئيسي للجملة راح تكون was او where هي بمثابة الفعل الرئيسي للجملة اما في حال الديد الديد هو كل الجمل اللي راح تستخدمون بها ديد يجب ان تحتوي على فعل رئيسي طبعا الديد راح يكون فعل مساعد مثل ما تلاحظون هنا ماكو فعل رئيسي اما هنا عندنا فعل رئيسي ليف راح نختار ديد اتفقنا لان الديد راح يكون بمثابه فعل اشتقاقي للتعبير عن سؤال او استفهام اما في حال وجود فعل مساعد بالجمله طبعا راح يكون هو الفعل الرئيسي ايضا فماكو داعي بعد للاشتقاق فراح يكون هو الوز او الورك وبمثابة الفعل الرئيسي اضافة الى كونه هو فعل مساعد لغاية هذه النقطة نتوقف اعزائي المتدربين ونكمل ما تبقى في المحاضرة القادمة ان شاء الله شكرا للانتباه